All right, this is uh, Thunder with uh, Grayland.com and yet another Grayland yeah. challenge. This time a international challenge up in Beauty A, Canada. Getting a lot of Canadians here, uh, getting on the green kick. We have Steve and we have Larry. Larry's Hello, are you there? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, there you go. Cool, cool, cool. All right, Steve and Larry, what kind of car we got testing tonight? We got, you, you, I got a text here that says we're ready to run a challenge. We got a yeah. tractor and a car. Yeah, we got a, uh, what year is this, Larry? 96 Jetta TDI. Jetta, okay, we got a VW. Is this a diesel? It is. No, Lee. Okay, let's do this one. And you got a tractor. What kind of tractor you got? You got the Kubota. Japan's. Uh, how old is that? Uh, what year is this, Larry? Uh, He's not sure of the year. About, about a 2010, he says. Okay, well, uh, you know, the Japanese Kubota has a T4 compliance engine, and, you know, all the farmers out there are going to have to switch to a T4 engine, otherwise they won't be able to sell their grain. So you guys are ahead of the, you know, at least, uh, I, I'm afraid that that's probably a T3 back in 2010. So you guys need our technology so you don't have to buy a new tractor. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to help the agriculture people. I'm a farm kid from Iowa. That, that's where we start. That's where the roots are. All right. Um, the car, uh, you got the uh, Jetta started? Yeah. Uh, imagine there's some uh, heavy miles on that car and uh, some pretty stinky diesel coming out of the back. How many miles you got, Larry? About over 500,000 kilometers anyway. Holy moly, we got a 500,000 mile car diesel v dub in a foreign country. And I don't, you can see the smog. It's pretty bad. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I, it's, I, I think I can smell it and taste it from here on camera. Uh, it, it's uh, pretty bad. Yeah, all right. Well then, for sure, let's pull up the. Uh, this is a this is a serious Grayland challenge. Uh, I don't know if we can get this one in five minutes, but uh, let's see what happens. We're going to do two challenges with the tractor at the same time, so it'll give us a little more time. Uh, this is going to take a little time on this diesel, but here we go. Uh, pull the image up and let's hold that toward the uh, fuel tank uh, for three minutes. All right. So hold. Take the image up. And then uh, hold it towards the fuel tank for three minutes, and don't let the screen go black. Yeah, tap the screen there every so often. And uh, five hundred thousand miles. Wow, what do you guys do up there? Uh, he, I think he's just had this car for a long time. Yeah, he, uh, he travels a lot. And lives far, far away from a uh, major metropolis, I tell you. Yeah. We're, uh, yeah, this is an interesting case right here. Uh, you know, because Volkswagen, what, what they recently went through, we, uh, we did some testing over at VW Labs over in Germany. There was a lot of confusion on their engineers who, uh, I guess they tried to tell me they, they knew everything. We watched them. Keystone cop time after time after time fumble um, every test that we, we put in front of them. We, we don't know why. We, we told them if we got on cam, we could walk you through the human error. They, they assured me that they were the most brilliant engineers in the world. And, well, both of them ended up having a big fine. So I guess they not following instructions very well. So, yeah, it's a personal thing for me to see a, a Volkswagen, and especially a diesel. 500,000 miles, if, if we oh, take yeah. it on. Uh, out of this one, uh, is the, the image on his phone zoomed. Is that going to change anything? No, no. Uh, it doesn't matter your phone, the image size, or anything like that. It's uh, the image is the frequency is tied to the to the uh, cell phone number, and as it's lit up on the on the screen, that energy then is radiating a thirty foot field around your phone. Perfect. That's awesome. Okay, that one, uh, I say that one's uh, pretty charged up now. That's been, uh, it's been a couple minutes. I think, uh, I think we're in the clear there. I think you're good, Larry. And, uh, yeah, 
let's uh, let's rev that car up for a little while. Rev it up. Uh, two thousand RPMs for two minutes. We 2, like that. Larry, two thousand for two minutes. We call it the two 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 drill. Hold the image for two minutes. Run the RPMs. Whoa. Oh yeah. Holy wow. Yeah, we boy, I, we haven't seen pollution like this on on a video this good before. This is a holy moly. This is a choker. Uh, you guys are in Canada, huh? Yeah. Yeah, um, stay out of, uh, of California. They will probably impound your car and beat you senseless. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think uh, – I've seen the LAPD. They're, they're kind of mean. Uh, not, all, not all LAPD. That way when I land, I don't have any problem. Uh, the, 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 yeah, we're talking about gross polluter there. That, that's pretty serious. Wow. And, and that even passed the emissions test that they do here in Canada. Well, they allowed that with with an envelope, or how did that happen? You just I don't know. They hook it up, and there you go. Here you pass. Here's an envelope. Make sure we pass. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know how that that, that could have passed. Holy moly! Um, we're gonna let this car run for a while. Let's let's come back to it. All right. I'm I'm uh, wow. Yeah, this is one that might even keep revving it. But uh, it's it's a pretty steep challenge you guys are throwing here with this one for a five minute challenge. But uh, hey, I've seen it. I've seen it. So uh, let's uh, fire up the tractor. Is that a uh, diesel or an unlead? Uh, Larry, do you want him to keep the RPMs up on the Jetta, or just let it run? Yeah, just let it. Uh, just let it run through. Just let it run. Is your uh, diesel? I assume. Yeah, full diesel. I want you to fire this guy up. Where's the exhaust on it? Uh, where's your exhaust on this guy, Larry? Oh, he's up here. Oh, right in front of you? Yeah. Oh, boy, just blowing right in your face as you're driving. Hey! That's, uh, that's it. May have to back away to here. Uh, you, okay, hey, that's a good view right there. Uh, even a little further, we can see the uh, diesel on the car yet. Oh, yeah. And uh, we can still see the tractor. Okay, okay, cool. All right, pull that image up and hold it next to the tank. Do the image to the tank. Getting uh, a couple more calls here uh, in the evening. You know, people getting off work, um, watching YouTube, coming across our videos. We're, we're starting to uh, get this challenge out there. People are jumping on, uh, on their uh, social medias and uh, telling others about it. So it, it's, it's growing quite organically and quite grassroots. -y. We're, uh, we're uh, put up a million dollars in inventory for the first 400 YouTube videos. You guys have two of them here that we're doing. So we will uh, we'll send you guys out a 20-pack of, uh, that's $5,000 worth of our anti-smog technology that you guys can uh, make wonderful gifts for Christmas, um, give them out to everybody in the neighborhood, and there you have a, you know, a hot neighborhood. I think that diesel's already doing better, huh? Oh, yeah, you can see it's, it's a lot clearer. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that Kubota. I mean, it's there's no there's no emissions uh, system on that. No. Are you know they have the recycled air intake systems. They got the, the catalytic converters. You know, we they've done the best that they could with what we've known over the years. But uh, we're taking it from a different approach. This is a pre-combustion system instead of a post-combustion system. And by uh, alleviating those toxins and rendering them inert, we, uh, we have a, a rather unfair advantage into solving the pollution problem. 
um, than a someone who's looking at a you know a post combustion. Let's uh, throttle up that Kubota and let's see it. Uh, let's see how it does. Hey, Larry, gas it up. He can leave that run then, right? That's uh, throttle. He can just stick. You know. Yeah, yeah, you can leave it high up, yeah. All right, let's go back then. Uh, let's let that run for a little while. As we're doing that, let's go back to the car, give it a couple of punches, and uh, see if that thing has uh, settled down a little bit. You want to give her a couple shots of throttle there? Yeah, let's see if that – yeah, that, yeah, there you go. That, that view you had before was, was profound. It's so puffing, but I want to see more white steam instead of black nasty. Is he going? Yeah, he's older there for a minute, Larry. There oh, there we are. Whoa, whoa, we still got some heavy stuff there. Oh, no. Yeah, keep punching that one out. Boy, that one's open. It's not smoking like it was, though. No, not at all. Let's see if it smells any better. You know, it doesn't smell as bad. At yeah, all. Got down quite a bit, I bet, huh? It's, uh, it smells way better. Yeah, it's 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 starting to work. It's just going to need a little more time. With uh, here's what I recommend: drive that car for a hundred miles, and you got to change the oil. Uh, the detergents are going to gather all of the toxins that uh, are are breaking up off the motor, and uh, uh, it, it's just going to need you know it's going to need a little time. This is a this is a dirty critter. Uh, all right, the uh, but I consider that a success. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Challenge. All right. I was I was a little nervous, but yeah, this is gonna take a little more time. Is all. Did I say nervous? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Let's go back to the uh, Kubota. Track. Can't really hear a lot up there. All right, take a whiffer. How's the smell? I got to say that's not that bad for a tractor. Right on. Starting that's to kick in, too. That's breathable. Yeah. Yeah, both of these, uh, you know, they need a good, uh, there we go, let's get, uh, let's get this view. When you drive it, it stinks. Yeah, it's your tractor. Does it smell better? <laughs> yeah, he knows it. See his head next to an exhaust on on a diesel. He says he can breathe that right in, and he's not coughing at all. No, no. Welcome to Applied Quantum Mechanics. Uh, hey, I'm I'm. You got some more cars back there. Is this the whole neighborhood, or is this what, what's going on? Is that you guys? You got keys? Come on, let's do this. For which? Yeah. <laughs> we got keys for all of them. How's that you gotta do? I got I got ten field chips for each car. You guys you guys got twelve thousand bucks worth of gear right there, I see. <laughs> um the Toyota is probably that's pretty new. I don't know how many problems it'd have. Well, I don't know about Ford. You know, it's a new vehicle, okay? Yeah. And it still pollutes. True. So if we can take even the lowest vehicles to zero and the worst cases such as this one, let's get uh, let's get his take on his car. What do you think about the car, Larry? Does it smell anywhere what it used to? What do you think? Has the RPMs dropped any on that car? What's your RPMs at, Larry? Thirty-seven. 
Because it's at nine. Diesels don't drop as bad as the unleads do on the RPMs because it's compression instead of combustion. Uh, but we see a, you know, we see a pretty good gain in, in the diesel economy. Uh, that uh, that's a TSI engine. Is that what it is? TDI. TDI. Yeah, TDI. Yeah. That uh, that motor we that four cylinder uh, diesel we've uh, we've hit fifty one fifty two miles to the gallon up from thirty eight quite a few times on that model on that engine. Yeah, See, it sounds like it's running smoother. Yeah, like it's oh. not as not as rough. Yeah, tell me to punch you a couple more times. Larry hit it a couple times. Oh yeah, that's just white now. There we go. Puffs of white smoke instead of this big trail of black. Yeah, yeah. Before you were shooting out some black, but. Yeah. yeah that's just white. Come on, Luper. Ha. Huh. Uh, yeah. I think this is one of my best trailing challenges of all time. Uh, I really do. This this is this one goes in the Hall of Famers. I hope this one uh, will be on display at the Smithsonian someday. All right, so <laughs> fun. Uh, this is Thunder at Grayland.com. We got Steve and Larry up in Canada with uh, a tractor and a Volkswagen diesel with 500,000 miles. I, I think you guys threw me a couple of really hard challenges that we uh, – Come on. We wiped out pretty good. Well, next time, this is Thunder. Be good.